Hey guys, this is going to be a smaller stream than usual, but I wanted to play more of this game because, I, God, I love it. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's everyone's cup of tea, but it is one of my, it's one of the better fan games I've played. Uh, now, I will say Legacy of the Lost was more in depth. That was single player. This is some multiplayer in it, at least, so. <laughs> Anyway, let's continue where we left off with Terry. We just found the town of Dharma. And for those who don't remember, so we have me, Terry, uh, who is the goof-off of the party. Uh, she can get upgrades, though, so to better uh, classes. For now, though, she goofs off in battle, and thus we're using items. Then in second in line there, in the little hat, is Talion. He is our monk. He's uh, basically our main attacker but he can't equip many armor. And then the person in yellow is going to be Saro. She is our healer. She's gonna be, well, basically just doing that, as I said, keeping us alive. And then last in the little dark cloak is Hargon, who is going to be just magicking the shit out of everything. So, all good. And who the hell is that? That's Marie, apparently, who is probably left over from someone that uh, was playing before. This is an online game. People can actually join up and play if they want to. I'm not necessarily going to be playing with people, though, because I'd rather get through the game and see how it is first. If there's actual interest, I might actually like go back and make a multiplayer run or something, but it's hard to get the schedules right. This is the, the Shrine of Dharma, where we actually could change classes if we had enough job skill. Right now, we're level 7 in Goof Off. We need to get to level 8. And we're not too far from that. But yeah, we found the Shrine of Dharma. We turned in our mini medals, and we want to progress on. Let me take a look. I also got the Staff of Healing from one of my quests, so I could actually use that. I think I have something in the alchemy pot, right? Mm, I can't tell. Ooh. Time for a fight. Alright, I could tickle them, but no, no. I'll attack the, the group with my thorn whip. The thorn whip attacks multiple enemies. We're going to have Talion focus down that death parrot. Saro probably should help with... Oh, she's psyched instead. Okay, fine. And fireball the slime knights with me. Oh, I chip crit at least. How's our health? Hmm. Since I'm probably going to be goofing off anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and I'll heal Sorrow. Focus down the slime knights, guys. Yeah, the healing stuff is a, basically a free heal I could use. And it bypasses my whole, uh, attack my party members. I mean, a uh, whole, uh, goofing off thing, so why not? Alright, everyone seems to be doing good now. Normally the Shrine of Dharma wasn't over there. It used to be a different town, but... Hell, I'll, I'll take it. I'll go with it. Alright. I'll, I'll attack regularly. You go for the death parrot, death parrot, and you fireball the army ants. Hmm. Death, yeah, the reason I don't like death parrot is because he can put people to sleep by attacking. What did I do? Terry actually attacked for once. Good. But she wasn't strong enough, so let's go ahead and heal Talion. Talion woke up, apparently. Go for the Death Parrot, go for the Death Parrot, and you keep fireballing the army ants. Luckily, Terry is pretty fast, so she'll probably go first and heal, get the heal in. Ah, damn, I didn't mean to I actually didn't mean to attack there. While the healing stuff may seem a little OP, it only can be used in battle. Which can cost you at times. Alright, you heal. There we go. Don't want to go in the battle starting off pretty bad. Oh, this is different. Little shrine over here. Alright, attack the death parrot. And you fireball the slime knights. 
Ugh, Slime Knight's Rob magic is really obnoxious at this point in the game when you don't have that much MP. And Terry's sleeping, great. He still has the agility ring. Okay, and that's the evasion cloak that we we're waiting on. What's in here? No, oh, it's a warp. I think this is back to Hobble or something. We can't use it right now, we don't have the right key. We only have the thief key. Alright, I'm gonna have her just, just do Staff of Healing stuff. Terry got put to sleep. Damn it. At least she awoke and no further harm came. I really hope Hargon learns Rob magic so he can get his MP back. Oh, I should have healed. Oh well. Here, we use one of the many, many herbs we have. And Cloak of Evasion. Awesome. It basically will be equipped by almost everyone. It increases evasion, but what it really does is it halves damage to whoever is equipping it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start this now. We're going to make a better, even better, uh, oops. Even better armor. Taking away the agility ring. Give that to me. We're just going to use the alchemy pot. Cook. Agility, Ring, and Cloak of Evasion. Oh, really? The very next battle, really? <sighs> Everyone just attack the first group. Oh, well, I sung instead. Okay. Well, increasing our defense is not that bad. Well, at least I woke right back up. I'm gonna go heal Hargon. Yeah, keep attacking the Death Parrots. Argon, you should be parrying at this point. Now Sarah needs healing. Sleep is probably the worst status in this game, really. One of the worst statuses in the game, because you could lose multiple turns, and you don't know when you're going to necessarily wake up. Oh my fucking god. There's so many battles. Alright, you know what? You're gonna actually Infernos and you're gonna Fireball. Ah, oh, they just took all a, uh, all Hargon's MP now. Oh, Hargon, you're basically a sitting duck, and this is why I was thinking of giving him the healing staff, because he's not going to be able to do much now when he has no MP. Also, the Slime Knights are way too smart with their raw magic, going after the next person that has magic abilities. Why don't you raw magic uh, Talient or myself? Because Derry doesn't really use her MP, and neither does Talient. Yeah, we gotta head back already. Which is annoying, but whatever. We need to use the inn and get our MP back. Also, let me just double check on something. Yes, my... good. I wanted to make sure I didn't... Let me just lower the desk, the audio there. Okay, uh, I just wanted to make sure that my microphone was actually being picked up. Because sometimes it decides not to. Now that's the bank. Okay. For those new to this also, remember to look to the right for any battle screen stuff. You can see what happened in the battle, like you can see over here, oop, that's not what I wanted to do. You can see over here how Terry tries to pinch people, she, does, she goofs off. It's part of her shtick. And something I like. Alright, uh, one of everything, so let's go after the Slime Knights first. 
Because they're the ones that are taking away our MP. And, and just go for the Ice Bolt, too. Alright, taking some heavy damage here. I'll heal Talion. Go up to the Munjars. And you just parry for now. Ooh, nice evasion. No, no. I got a member. Staff of Healing. On uh, Saro, and... Hey, Saro, how are you? Playing a Dragon Quest fan game. Good, how am I doing? Uh, my job still has me tired at times because of the overnights and all, but I would say I'm good. Not great, but good. There's things I need to get done, and I have a hard time doing it still, but working on stuff. Oh, right, there's another thing I have to use the alchemy pot on. Can't use it yet. We have to wait till. Yeah, I didn't want to go in there. Thank you, game. Hmm. All right. Um. Italian and Saro take on the Slime Knight. Argon and I will attempt to attack the army ant. Or Terry will just sing. Okay, sure. I do. I mostly like my job. I would say. I. It. The hours are tiring, but it's. Definitely better than what I was doing. The people are nice. The work is honestly easy. It just gets mildly stressful at times. That's about it. Ooh, okay, good. Yeah. The stress is nothing compared to when I worked uh, as a personal shopper, though, so... <laughs> I gotta count my blessings. That was, like... Terribly stressful. Ugh. At least here, it's like you know what to expect, just long hours. Alright. Focus down the Slime Knights. We just really want to get rid of those damn Slime Knights because they're going to ruin everything with their MP stealing ways. Even though these guys put us to sleep. Damn it! Stole magic. Everyone attack. But yeah, um. I am a little worried about my car at the moment because we just had it, I just had it uh, mostly fixed up with um, some things, but last night it, uh, I got stuck in traffic because, you know, people were idiots on the road when it was raining, and uh, my car actually started getting, like, close to overheating. We had cooling mode on, and it, for just a moment, flashed the little temperature vent gauge, and then it went back down. So that kind of scared me. Oh, and uh, Staff of Healing on Saro. Focus down, Slime Knight. Okay. Uh, I mean, I knew how I know how to handle that. Like, if you turn your heat on full blast or something, it cools down the engine. So that's what I did. And then I lowered the window so I don't roast in my own car. <laughs> you parry. I'm basically just going to spam Staff of Healing. Oh gosh, sounds like why I got rid of your ca you got rid of your Cavalier? Yeah. Yeah, because that's a bundle of nerves waiting to happen. I mean, when you're not hitting traffic, you don't have to worry. But I'm probably going to have to take it in and get it looked at. Because I, I do like this car still. It's still pretty good condition. It just doesn't want to... Doesn't want to keep cool. It's having a very, it has a very hot head, I guess you could say. <laughs> I 
How is how is your new car doing still? Is it still doing great? It's great, yeah, awesome. Nice bolt the death pair. Problem with this game is almost all the enemies are over are usually faster than you, and in, even when you catch up, it feels like as soon as you go to the next section, you have to try to catch up again. It's kind of minor, though, but still, it's just annoying. Step of healing, Saro. Attack, attack, and you parry. We're going to have the cats over for a while again. Uh, my sister's going to be going away soon, and uh, yeah, the cat's going to be like... We're going to be having the cat stay here with us, so I'll be doing the ones... I'll be doing the feedings in the morning. My mom will take over the, uh... The feedings for... The afternoons. Willow is not necessarily pleased with the whole thing, but she gets a... deals with it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to do this. The staff of, I don't like the staff of healing in my hands, because Hargon's usually just kind of standing there anyway. So let's give it to him. Alright, we got a cave over here. Is this where we came from? Let's we'll see if this looks familiar. Oh, Robo Serenity! Now we won't be falling asleep. It's also really good defense, but uh, that's honestly not the reason why I have I got it. Meow. <laughs> Let's see. Hero Soldier Pilgrim. What is that? Saro has one already, so the chainmail is going to be basically cell fodder. You know what? While well, I'm thinking of it, magic herb, magic herb. Let's cook that up, and I'm going to put the chainmail away. Okay. New monsters. Hmm. I could use the wizard's wand on the undead soldier. You help attack and attack, and you're going to heal yourself. Hmm, I only do 17 damage with that, but it's guaranteed damage at least. And Staff of Healing, Saro. There we go. Yeah, Hargun's fast enough to do that. Oh yeah, this is a whole new place. I think in the Magidrak is what we gotta get rid of first, but the Frogor is kind of dangerous too. I don't know. Hargon's mostly here for doing area damage. Otherwise, he's going to heal us. Uh, but yeah. So we got the cats coming next week. My dad's birthday is also next week. And in today, Don't Starve Together, um, we announced that they'll be doing, releasing a new character, Wormwood. Uh, next week yeah all right let's see i think the caterpillar is the dangerous one here everyone's hp is mostly okay fireball the magic okay they resist magic a little and hargun's already in trouble great let's see if he can get through this Damn it! Damn it, Frogor, why'd you have to attack him? And there goes Hargun. That's what happens when you rely on the wizard to heal. I probably should have parried with him and then had Saro heal, but I was just getting greedy. Alright. 
Do I have any magic waters in the bag? I hope I do. I do not. So, I gotta go back the old-fashioned way. As long as I get out of the cave, we're okay. Oh, magic potion. That's not gonna help me right now. <laughs> Anything else? Cool, you finally got a PC laptop? Oh, nice! So you could probably get a couple games on it then, too, maybe. <laughs> Ooh, give me a second. I'm gonna check the alchemy pot list on my guide, because... I'm not sure if I can make a, a dragon armor by any chance. Yep, you got 8 gigabytes of RAM, only 250 gigabytes of hard drive, though. Yeah, but, you know, I found that it's easier to manage... I don't know about you, I found it easier to manage the... The, uh, what do you call it? Uh, data on your computer better than it is... Like, storage, anyway, better than getting not having enough uh, RAM or something so like as it is my current computer I it's not really good for streaming and playing games like playing higher higher quality games I've noticed so I'm gonna get a new computer while keeping this computer for like personal use and have the new one for streaming I'm thinking also my room is I'm basically ready to move into my room soon so I won't be upstairs all the whole time That'll be nice. Anyway, where's my alchemy pot list? Here it is. All right. With the dragon scale, what can we use it with? No, I can't use it right now. All right. What other things can I do right now? I could make some rings. I could make a feather hat. Eh, we could do that. Feather hat. Who has a leather hat? She does. Okay. Scale shield. Take off the leather armor hat. I may as well keep, uh... Keep myself... Making stuff. Because otherwise we're going to be kind of stuck. Well, otherwise we are wasting opportunity, I should say. Oh, I had a wing over burn. Oh well. The next thing I'll be probably doing is turning that wizard wand into something else. Alright, let's... Actually, you know what? You two go up to the draggy. Good. The draggy is the most difficult thing to do. And we're going to have to deal with this red text for a while until we revive Hargon. Oh good, I raised our defense. I like that when that happens. Heal Talion. Ooh, meh. Nah. Piercing attack, okay. Now, don't bother with Infernos. You know, funny enough, my old laptop still works. Even though it... I haven't really used it in forever, it's... It's there. <laughs> it's been dying for ages, though. Alright, let's get back to Dharma and... Revive our poor Hargon here. He's been missing out on his job points. Yeah, we'll pay. Alright, let's not go into that cave for a bit, because that cave was pretty dangerous. Let's take an in. Let's explore around around the town here. We have to deal with uh, our MP being stolen, but other than that, we're fine. All 
All right, looks like Talion can one-shot those stupid birds. Or very close to it. So I gotta remember that for the future. Thank you for singing, Terry. Alright, we got a feather hat. I'll give that to Sarah, because that's going to be a defense upgrade. Alright, I'm going to turn this wizard wand into a antidote wand. That way we basically have three antidotes. So all we need, the reason why I've been saving these stupid herbs, is an antidote herb. No, not the Hermes. Wizard wand, antidote herb. There we go. Yeah, it takes away one of my options to use items in battle, but it's not the end of the world. They're having a big town party at the park tomorrow. I'm bringing... And you're bringing back... Oh, they are bringing back the fair pizza. Um... Which park? The park near you or the park that I used, used to walk to and had the family uh, current um, reunions at? I know technically they're both near you, but I think you know what I mean when I say that. The one where I had the family reunion? Okay. Okay. That's cool. Your step of healing yourself. The slimes are revolting. Jeez. But it's dumb. You have to park at the train station and be bussed in? What's stopping someone from just walking in there, then? Seriously, like, just parking way down and just walking right up to it. Like... I imagine not much. Oh yeah, you can walk in. I don't know if they have signs. No street parking though. Mm. Wow, I'm just throwing my weapon around everywhere. Which had, could have some bad connotations. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and fireball. Why would you have to park at the train station though? That's so far away, and why would the train station allow that? If I'm thinking of the right train station, I'm not sure. <laughs> As they do that for big events. That's so... But again, that's so far away. And that's going to mess up with commuter, commuters and just... Weird. Seems ass backwards. Because they were going to have you park on the grass, but it's been so wet. Not to mention, it probably ruined the grass. Why would, why would you want to do that, you know? So, that makes sense. Good. And you're going to heal... Sorrow. Not too many commuters on Saturday. Yeah, but it's still just... That just seems so terrible. I don't know. For those that don't know, the... Mob's Dead is my one of my best friends that lives where I used to live, and um, this is like me learning about the, the area, because that would piss me off so much, because you also know that some people are going to park, like, away from the park now, too. <laughs> it's just going to cause a whole lot of annoyances, really. Oh, yeah, like on, yeah, on my former street, exactly, that's what's going to, would it, happen. If I still lived there, that would be like the biggest pain in the ass. We also used to have a... Again, I know Sarah knows this, but I'm saying this for those that are either lurking or uh, going to watch this on YouTube later. 
we used to have a fair like right across the street from where I used to live. Like literally every summer it would happen like that. Um, but uh, you'd hear the hear it all throughout the night, and it was just the most annoying. It could be the most annoying thing ever, but it was also kind of fun. And then later, the people that used to hold the fair sold the property, and now a bunch of houses are there. That felt okay and all that, but I kind of missed the fair, but I also hated the fact that we couldn't park on our own damn street when the fair was going on there. That was the most annoying thing ever. It's like, we live here. You don't have a right to be doing that. And one time, they even towed my dad's van away, like, many years back. Um, because we were on vacation when they happened to do it. They didn't have any clearance or whatever, so we wrote to the mayor. The mayor got it out for us without any incruing costs. But it was still, like, the most bullshit thing ever. It's the 350-year anniversary celebration since our town or township or something was founded. Or since THE town. It's not mine anymore. <laughs> Yeah, like, our town was founded. Since our town was founded. Oh, okay. That weird. Oh! Goof off Max! Yes! I can now upgrade Terry's job. I wasn't really trying to grind it, this just ended up being a grind. <laughs> huh, I was wondering about that. Unfortunately, I also have to work this Saturday. Wait, is it this Saturday? I forget. Um, a big town party, yeah, it's t this Saturday, yeah. I'm working tomorrow, unfortunately, because it's my Saturday. Uh, since I have alternate Saturdays, I have to work. But I had off this Wednesday. I also had off Monday because of Memorial Day, and they paid me for it. Would you like to change the class? I'm going to be a dancer. And now, Terry has turned into a dancer. Make sure everything's equipped right. Nothing really seems changed yet. But it, she's gonna start learning some really good skills. All right, I may as well use the inn. I also, I believe I no longer goof off because I'm a dancer now. So now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Though I am gonna miss it a little bit. At least I can actually reliably attack. And Talent leveled up. So did Sarah. Okay. Good stats all around. Also, since I changed my class, I bet you that means my level ups are going to have different stats. Oh, jeez. Alright, you know what? Infernos and Fireball together. Just get rid of them. Good. Alright. Everyone just attack. Well, Hargun probably should have defended. Oh, well. Eh, he made the finishing blow. Credit for him. Ooh. I'm getting some lag here. Ooh! I guess the server had a hiccup. Yeah, the server's having some hiccups here. At first, I was a little worried that, it, um... My computer was gonna freeze because that happened last time last time I streamed this actually, but not that I think it's a fault of the game or anything. I just think like 
this game is can be resource heavy. I accidentally psyched up with Saro. Alright, this is the way we were going to try to explore. But yeah, Terry no longer has to worry about, uh, goofing off. Argon level up nice. When they go up one more job level, they're going to be uh, doing great with their... They'll be able to uh, upgrade their jobs. Everyone should be able to just attack and be fine. Again, a Hargon should have healed or defended. Damn it. Hmm. Well, if you're if you get steam on your on your uh, new laptop, there, uh, Sarah, maybe uh, check out a couple games like uh, like I mentioned, like Stardew Valley was one of the ones that I wanted to show or at least buy for you to try and play, because I think you would like it. Oh my goodness! All right, I'm betting this town over here. This used to be where Dharma was located. I bet this is where the elves are now. Alright, you know what? Team up. Infernos, Fireball, Death Parrots. Hmm, okay. So, Thorn Whip plus Fireball mostly kills them. Oh, damn it. If you liked survival games, I'd say you could pr probably play uh, Don't Starve with me too and all, but I don't know if you're really into that. Also, lately I only I mean, get a chance to play like usually really late night anyway. Okay, he's probably going to die. I'm actually, I think even if he parried, he would die, so I'm going to have him attempt to heal. Okay. Sarah was fast enough. Hmm. Let's take a look. Alright, yeah, Terry's falling behind on attack. Maybe I should start giving her more stronger weapons. This is the village of elves. This monster tech our dream, Ruby, and now we cannot awaken the great sage. Oh yeah, are you guys not jerks? Oh no, you still are. And you still welcome us at the end, that's nice. I don't tell the humans. Our queen has watched over these lands for hundreds of years. Small metal. A hey, missing time. This is gonna be a smaller stream than usual. This week we have agility rings. Save your agility seeds and gold rings. One of these, and you may find yourself ahead of the opposition. Spelled wrong. Because it's opposition, not opposition. That's okay, I'm glad you made it. No prob. Awesome. Yeah, I got about maybe an hour before I have to start getting ready for work. Nothing of interest on the bookshelves. We just found the City of Elves. Our whole party is okay. We had a... Hargon died once, but other than that, we haven't had a full party wipe in a while. Long ago... A Powerful evil came to Edith. The great sages had to go into hiding. Some choose to be sealed away. Ooh, money. Oh, wait, what? Let us try something today. Wizard wand, healing water. What could we make with these? Something that I can heal, I hope. Yes, we can. I'm playing Minecraft high school roleplay. Oh, God, no. Why? Why, mobs? Did why? Oh, high school roleplay. <laughs> yeah. Nah, if you're having fun, that's okay. Yes, we dwarves were, were hired as guards to protect this village. I will tell you this. If you want to get on the good side of the queen, it might help if you can recover the dream ruby. Monsters stole it a while back and probably have left it in their lair. The lair shouldn't be too far away. 
You're in cooking class? <laughs> yes, we dwarves don't get along with elves well, but they are paying us greatly to guard the village, so I guess I could stand them a little bit more. Yep, Creed. Creed is great, huh? Welcome to Great Tree. I know of an ancient kingdom that used to live a large desert. They protected their treasures in a giant pyramid, and to protect the pyramid, they put a seal on it. The seal has weakened a little power, a little over the years, but it still protects the inner chambers from what I know. Well, um, yeah, I think playing modded Minecraft is better than RP. <laughs> you know what? Trying new things is okay, too. We have foreseen great events about to happen. Welcome to the Hall of the Forest Mother. Oh, look at that. You know what? In the last version of this game, the elves were complete and utter little dicks. In this one, they're tolerable, I'd say. Sorry, there's nothing I can do for you unless you have a dream, Ruby. See, look, she's even apologetic about it. Oh, wrong thing. Let's look at the quest log. Sleeping Sage. The king has given you permission to travel further east to find this age. Could be worse, I could be playing Minecraft story mode. <laughs> oh, that's good. Or even worse, you could be playing Fortnite. <laughs> I just like ripping on Fortnite, it's just easy. It's just too easy not to. I don't play it, therefore I have an elitist uh, attitude towards it. You know, that's just the fair thing to do. <laughs> uh, Nightbot, that's not really applicable here, but that's okay. We are hemorrhaging our MP doing this. Alright, this is the cave that has the Dream Ruby, probably, and we have more monsters to fight. Great. I really, really hate the Slime Knights. I could stop spell them, but it only stop spells one, and that's not enough. Fortnite, my girlfriend got pregnant and then. <laughs> Alright, I think compared to Death Parrots, Slime Knights are the worst. Our Italian can actually one-shot them. Also, uh, I have an off-stream party for playing this game. I have it so there's three fighters and one healer, basically. Well, it's, technically it's one monk, one fighter, one soldier, and one pilgrim. I wanted to see how that worked out. And honestly, it's not, not doing bad. If you ever, like, you know want to brute force a game, it actually works well because they all attack hard enough that they almost one-shot enemies, usually. There we go. Also, once again, this game, technically, you could anyone could play if they wanted to. It's a public server. It's on the Build Your Own Net Dream website, Beyond, B-Y-O-N-D, Dragon Quest Heroes Destiny, or Dragon Warrior Heroes Destiny, one of the two. Oh, they renamed it Dragon Quest. Okay. Anyway. Hmm. I don't like this. Alright, you know what? Everyone focus on the Slime Knight except Paragon, who's going to heal himself. Because he's probably going to get hit. Yep, he did. We just want to get rid of the Slime Knights. Because they're dicks. Actually, you know what? You go after that, and you step of healing. Italian. Yeah, I think I think uh, Italian's gonna be able to one-shot these guys for the most part. You help with the undead soldier. New step of healing, Saro. Maybe I should be doing the healing still, though. I I don't know. I keep bouncing back and forth between the two. Because that way Hargon can at least cast magic at them. It's hard to tell what exactly I should be doing. Because a dedicated healer is like that is nice, but... Sarah can actually attack decently. I attack okay. 
You know what? Maybe we'll switch in between the two. When Hargon runs out of MP, he gets back the healing staff so he can heal. That's what we'll do. Let's check. I'm not cooking anything? Okay. In that case, let's move... Well, actually, I want to get rid of that. I have so many wings over Vern. Do I... Does anyone else have a leather hat? No, you have a feather hat. You have a medical herb, though. I want to keep cooking stuff, so... Alchemy pot. Let's cook in two medical herbs. I don't have another medical herb, really. Alright, let's just sort my inventory a little. What do I have in here? I have a bunch of antidote herbs. There's nothing else I could do with antidote herbs, though. You have healing waters. Yeah, nothing else I could really do right now. Alright. Terry. Healing staff. Hargon. Talion, you, you try attacking the large fly. See if that kills it. Infernos the Slime Knights and Fireball the Slime Knights. I have the battle on fast so we can get through these fights slightly faster. Alright, Slime Knights are gone. Terry, heal Saro. You go focus on the Slime Knight. You attack the large fly. You blaze the Slime Knight. That stupid Slime Knight stealing our MP. I hate it. Everyone attack. Now Saro can't heal, so basically we have to be healing in battle. Oh, we got another medical herb. I could cook something. Perfect. Alright. Staff of Healing, Hargon. Everything's jumbled. I don't like that. Start with the Slime Knight. You two take the Slime Knight. Hargon, you start ice bolting a frog ore. Oh god, I healed Hargon that turn. He got focused a little. No, no. Keep healing. You're gonna heal. Talion. He's gonna kill the Frogor. You attack that, and you attack the Frogor as well. Yeah, look how they all pile on first. It's really annoying. Also, maybe I should make it... To make it easier to see our names, maybe I should rename everybody so they're all in caps or something. Just a thought. It kind of gets lost the, sometimes with the monster names being the same color. Argon. You know, parry at this time. I don't know. I'm considering it. I also could give... Uh, I could give uh, Saro healing items, too, to heal us up. Strength ring! Awesome! Alright, Talent has the first one. Hmm. Yeah, I'd probably be the next best person to have strength. I lose some defense, but that's not a big deal. What does Saro have? She has a leather cape that's less defense than the gold ring. I'll give her the gold ring. I could make an intelligence ring, but I'm not really a fan of those because they don't really help that much. And I could sell that leather cape later. Can I bag from there? Hang on, let me make sure... Okay, it actually worked. Good. There used to be an item duplication glitch that would happen if you bag things from your party members. Alright, I'll attack... You attack them. You're gonna have to help him attack, and you fireball the Slime Knight. Oh yeah, look at that. Now she actually does decent attack. She does, She's on par with fireball. Good, just, yeah, good job, Terry. I can't talk. 
Oh, Saro has leveled up and maxed out her pilgrimage. We'll go back when we can afford to. Alright. I'm going to attack, attack. Maybe, yeah, I think I'm going to give, since I can do better damage, I'm going to pass the healing staff to Saro, probably. Can't do it in battle, though. I mean, don't get me wrong, she has actually decent attack and all, but... She's now the next person to be... She's... I mean, look at the attack. She's the least attack person that can't cast... She can't, she, she can't cast magic, so that's why we want to give her that. Basically, this healing stuff's going to be making its rounds. Also, if anyone has questions about the game, by all means, feel free to ask. All right, me and Talion will take the Slime Knight. She's going to heal... You know, start with Hargon. Hargon, you Ice Bolt... The other Slime Knight. And Talion's in trouble. He's going to have to defend this turn. So we can hopefully keep him alive. There we go. Staff of healing him. And you blaze... You know, everyone focus on the slime. I hate them. Also, they seem to have fixed uh, that disjointed groups bug I talked about last time. I was testing that out with my other offline party, and it was actually doing pretty good. They, uh, you could use skills on multiple and on a disjointed group, and it won't crash. For those that don't know, disjointed groups are happen when. Okay, here's an example. See these large flies? If I kill one, sometimes it'll still say there's two left, and. The issue with the game would be that if you had a single target skill and you attacked, say, that group there, the one that has two, and one of them was dead, it would try to target the dead party member, and that would cause glitches. One of the things that would happen is, like, items would just not... Sometimes it just failed to work, or they'd crash your battle, so you had to refresh it. It was really, really obnoxious. All right. Uh, go for the undead soldier. You're going to be keep healing. You'll heal yourself. And fireball. But most of the time, single target skills would fail to work. And uh, magic was fine for some reason, though. Alright, you keep attacking them. You do the undead soldier. You heal Talion. And Hargon, your MP is getting low. I have a magic potion. I just don't really want to use it. <laughs> You parry. Wow, really? Only 20 damage? Come on, Talion. You're better than that. He doesn't have very good defense. Brass Knuckles! And he maxed out his... his job. Wait, did Hargun max his out? No. He's the last one to do it. He also learned how to punch. Good job. He's only been a monk for a little bit, so I guess, you know, finally learning to punch is a good thing. I forget what punch does. Let me take a quick look. Punch. Single target with slightly more force. That's about it. So it's okay. Also, we got to keep Hargon's and the rest of it, Hargon's MP if we can. You attack that. You attack the Slime Knight. You keep Staff of Healing. Mm. Heal me, because I'm more important. And I know that sounds conceited, but he, I really am. You know what? You Healing Water Talion. Okay. Focus down those those assholes there. You heal yourself. You parry. 
We gotta keep uh, Hargon's MP so he doesn't. He so he can outside. And the reason why I'm more important is because if I die, oh wow, it actually broke up the group. Good job, game. Um, I'm more important is because if I die, the the whole party is considered dead. It is probably one of the glitches into the game. Unless I was parting with another player, then that would not happen. Oddly enough. Also, why are they not dead yet? That's what I forgot to buy, is magic water. Dream Ruby, got it. And that's it. Okay. Let's try punching. She has heal more, but we don't need to redo that. And you can just attack. You did 36 damage. Not bad. Alright, Hargon. Outside, please. We'll go back to Dharma and upgrade... Upgrade our buddies here. After we use the inn. Alright, let's upgrade Talion. Yes. A warrior or a guardian? That's what a monk can become? Let me see. Do I have anything for those? Because monk is a little new. I don't have exactly any skill sets for them. A guardian, though. That sounds cool. Having someone to tank for us? Hmm. Yeah, a guardian, maybe? I'm leaning towards that, but... Again, it, uh, this is new territory for me. I'm not sure. Uh, warrior... Warrior, I don't have a class for either, so... Huh. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Guardian, with like you said. And now for Saro, I, ha I know these classes usually. Acolyte or Page. The difference here is Acolyte learns Vivify, which can help revive only 50% chance of the time, though. Oh no, both can do that. The main difference is Acolyte has Increase, which increases the defense of the entire party. And Infermor, which is the group magic damage. While Page has more statuses and debuffs. Uh, learn Sap. Don't need to learn that. We have a wizard. Speed up. Speed up. By the time we need to use it, it's unnecessary usually. Uh, surround is actually decent if it actually works. Um, it reduces physical damage to us. Hmm. And then a page can only be... I have to look ahead, too. Page can become bishop or cleric, and... Bishop is interesting. Cleric has the... Has resistance to spells. Like, I haven't really thought through what I want Sarah to be. Like, do I want her to mainly be just a healer? Hmm. If I take the first path, she'll actually learn Revive. I think that's the path I want to take. Well, no, she can learn to Revive as a Cleric, too. Barrier's good. But then again, we also have our Mage Buddy here, who's going to be learning different stuff, too. And he could learn Slow, which is basically speed up for us, because he slows down the enemy. Ugh. Choices suck. Sometimes. Well, I think, uh... Yeah, I think we're going to have Hargon become an enchanter next level because he can learn Bekil, which doubles attack, and Bekil is amazing. So, I know what that's what he's going to be when he changes. Alright, as for her, I am leaning towards Super Healer, which would be a Pope in the end, which would mean I had to go with the first choice, Acolyte. So, let's go with Acolyte. Again, this is assuming things are like the last game still. I mean, again, we don't start with anything new. We'll just be learning new things. Hmm. How far is Hargon away? Oh, yeah, 12, 12 more monsters. Alright, let's get back to the elves. We have their dream, precious dream ruby here. Hmm. 
And you can fireball with the death parrots on me. Very good. We're also going to see what type of level ups they get eventually. Because uh, there's going to be different types of stat ups now that they're different classes. You know, give it a punch. And you parry. Nice hit. Uh, that's the warp office. You attack, you fireball. And you should be able to parry at this point. Very good. That thorn whip is so good. Now that I can attack um, more than once and all. <laughs> I mean, attack without goofing off. That is very, very helpful. <laughs> oh, the brass knuckles, right. I wanted to look at these. Monk and Thief. It's 15 attack. What does Talient have? He has the chain sickle, which is 24. The brass knuckles are basically going to be just selling. You know, you'd think the brass knuckles would be, you know, better damage. Alright. Mm, Slime Knight's the worst. I'm gonna have you use your Staff of Healing on... Eh, Hargon, I guess. Hargon, you use Ice Bolt on the Death Parrot, because that's the next big threat. How does the Slime Knight not, not die already? Oh, he got healed. Damn it. Everyone just kill that asshole. Yeah, I'm just having Hargon save some MP for when there's groups of monsters. Bronze armor, nice. And... Hargon got his uh, skill up and learned Return. That'll be good if I ever decide to get rid of the Hermes hat, I guess. Which I won't. <laughs> Alright, Bronze Armor. Soldiers and Heroes. So only I can equip it because I'm still a hero, I think. Yeah, it's not very good. So the Robe of Serenity is better. I'm going to try to give it to Talion. I doubt it'll work, but I want to see. Nah, okay. I was thinking maybe the Guardian would have changed that. I'll change uh, Hargon in a moment. As much as I hate wasting wasting uh, job points that he's missing or something, because while he's level 8, he can't gain anymore. I would rather just get this done with, because the, the encounter rate's just too ridiculous to warrant going back for. I also like that my defense is pretty damn good. I would give the Robo Serenity to Talion, but I want to not be—I want to be the one that doesn't get put to sleep. <laughs> I mean, I eventually I could probably make another one, but that requires giving up more agility seeds. All right, you attack the Slime Knight. You, oh, you got to heal. Use the healing. Staff of healing on yourself. You blaze the slime knight. Okay, good. Keep attacking the army ants. Slime knight. Uh, you're going to staff of healing Cargon, and you blaze the slime knight. Very good. You know, Staff of Healing, me, and at this point, Hargon, you can parry. Everyone attack. Well, 
when I'm able to buy Cloaks of Evasion, that'll be the best time for me to uh, start making more Robes of Serenity. So, do that on Taliant, and you're going to Fireball the Slime Knight. Good, we got rid of them. Nice hit, Taliant. Sorry, I was going to do something else. I wanted to go withdraw the brass knuckles for a second because I want to look at. I want to look and see. That's it. Okay, because sometimes you, you guys can't see that screen, but when I click that link on the right, it gives me a little pop-up with the information. Sometimes it gives more information than the in-game description. This time it did not. I was seeing if maybe it had special effects, like maybe if it had a uh, extra crit chance, because that would be perfect. All right, uh, Death Pair is probably the worst. So me and Talent takes on that. You can Staff of Healing. Let me look at my HP better here. On Hargon, Hargon, Ice Bolt, the Army Ant. All right, I'll attack the Manjar. You attack the Army Ant. Staff of Healing, me and you, Ice Bolt, Manjar. Okay. Let's go and tell the queen we got her shit. So you have, the, have a dream, Ruby. You wish to wake up the Sage of Legend, I see. You are still a human, and I still don't fully trust you, but you have returned our dream, Ruby, so take this powder to wake up the Sage. Now please leave. You can find the sage in the lands to the east. So they, that was a uh, dialogue from the last game, and that's where she's a little bit more bitchy. But they definitely toned down some of the bitchiness of this town, because they used to be terrible. They were like little assholes the whole time. The only assholes now really are the queen a little bit and the sellers. That's reasonable, though. All right, now that we did that, let's get back to Dharma. Upgrade Hargon, and then we're gonna head to the east through that cave that we started to before Hargon died. Also, in. I'm not giving my business to the elves. <laughs> Hargon. Yes, we're gonna make you an enchanter, because you should learn the kill. Unless they change things again, but we'll we'll find out. And once again, the kill is the one of the skill spells that will increase our attack, and we definitely want that. Oh! These are different. I don't remember big eyes. Is this a... Are these monsters not supposed to be here? I'm pretty sure they're not. You know what? Everyone attack the same group here. Uh, Infernos and Fireball. Yeah, that that's damage. That's some big damage there. Also, if you hear a hum in the background, that's a uh, vacuum. Sorry about that. Alright, I'll attack that. You attack the healer. You staff of healing yourself, and you ice bolt the healer. Glad I healed then, because you were getting focused down a little. <laughs> you don't hear anything? Okay, good. I don't know how much the mic picks up sometimes. Staff of healing me, and you know what? Parry, Hargon. Big Eye attacked Talion for 23. Holy shit. I'm glad he has HP. Here, give it a punch. Uh, you keep healing. And you parry. Because I'm afraid if they attack you, Hargon. Ugh. Could just do regular heal. Cause I could hear this, I could hear the hum of the vacuum through my headset, so it's a little like, ugh. 
But anyway, let's see. Oh, what an annoying party. One of every enemy there. Like, instead of grouping them up so we can't use our fireball or whip. You gotta go? No problem, Missing Time. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good rest of your stream. Thanks. I got about a half hour, and then I got to head start getting ready for work, so. <laughs> Take care. What an annoying party setup. I hate it when they when the game does that. I know it's part of the the whole, oh, uh, you know, enemies are not always going to be easy to kill, but ugh. That's the one disadvantage of having Hargon take the path I'm taking right now. He's not going to learn area magic. Alright, Sarah, heal yourself. He's only going to have group damage magic, which is okay. It's good, but... Yeah, it could be better. Suddenly attacked? Really? Hmm. Yeah, parry. Alright. Staff of Healing, Hargon, and you parry. Let's get to that cave. I think at this point is when I'm going to pass the healing staff to Hargon. So I could, uh... What do you call it? I want to be able to have Saro attack for a while and conserve Hargon's MP a little bit. And once we get into the cave, that's when I'm going to let it loose. Well, that was faster than I thought. Alright, perfect. I'll attack the group there. You attack the Magidraki. You know, Sarah, help with the Magidraki first, and then you can start doing healing. Parkour, undead, undead. Oh, stop focusing down like that. Alright, Magidraki's gone at least. Now we'll do... I'll attack, you attack, you heal Hargon first, and he's going to parry because I don't trust the enemies not to target him. Tag's doing good damage, though. Alright, my new stat-ups don't look very different. More Brass Knuckles? They're not that helpful. I'm getting more HP, though, I think. A little bit more strength... I should be getting more luck, though, and that's what's bugging me. I, I want to have the super luck that usually goof-offs have. Hmm. Well, the stats are okay. Let's go ahead and drop off the brass knuckles. Also, the wake powder I should get out of my bag space, too. Here. Uh... Definitely heal up anyone that's below 50 HP. Other than that, we'll worry about in battle, battle healing. You know what? You attack the caterpillar with, so with sorrow, and you're going to fireball the frog wars. Good. All right. Death of healing Hargon. Hargon's gonna parry. Alright, he's got strength and he's getting more HP as a, as a guardian. And Saro's just getting a little bit more intelligence, it looks like, and that's about it for her general buffs for being for her level up stats, whatever. As mentioned, when they change classes, you get different stat-ups, usually, and that's this very small difference. She gets one extra int, I think. Maybe. I'm not even sure if that's much of a, there's much of a difference there. Am I able to scroll up and see... 
I don't think so. I think it passed already. But I'm curious. Because their last level up. Uh, oh! No, that's just job up. Nope, can't. That's the one issue with uh, having the battle text in the chat like that. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to have you attack the undead soldier with sorrow instead, and you are going to fireball the undead soldier. Damn, 20 damage to Hargon. You suck. Yeah, we're going to be healing Hargon a lot, apparently. All right, we gotta get rid of the magic drakies. You step of healing yourself, and you fireball the magic drakies. Okay, they, they forgot they resist magic. Damn it. And you parry. Just keep free healing. I should have parried with Hargon instead, damn it. Caterpillars hit very hard. One strength to... I think that's slightly more intelligence. I can't tell. I should have remembered to... I could always look back at the video at least, but still, I should have went back and uh, saved it. But okay. Undead soldiers are more tanky than they are a threat, so me and Talion take care of that. You are going to step up healing Hargon. Hargon, you're going to Ice Bolt the other Frogmore. Okay, Hargon's good. Where's the undead, where's the undead soldier's turn? Seven, yeah, he did, did only seven damage. I... I think he's the weaker of the two. So therefore less threatening. I didn't mean to parry on Saro, but whatever. Wait, you're going down? Okay. I forget if we always face down after a battle or not. Get rid of the caterpillars. They are super dangerous. They hit hard. Alright, next the Magidraki. Alright, looks like Talion can one-shot the Madridraki, so I don't need to double up on that. Heal, Talion, and you can parry. Okay, good. I am going the right way. Staff of Healing, Talion, and I'm gonna have just Hargon parry. Because these guys hit hard. I'm glad I parried. They were, like, focusing on Hargon. Because he's the squishy wizard. Alright, I think it's the right for treasure. Alright, all hands on deck on this one. You ice bolt the caterpillar, because your magic doesn't do very well against the Magidrakis. Okay. And you parry, Hargon. Good. 
Got it. Whoa. <laughs> I thought I jumped out in the water for a second. Oh, I can cook some stuff up. Let's do the magic potion first. Mm, Magidraki first. So I'll take the one in the end. Talion should be able to one-shot. I think... Yeah, Saro, you can help me with the one on the end. And Hargon, just parry. Perfect. Now, let's get rid of the Frogor next. You heal me and... Yeah, Hargon's gonna parry for now because they're not. there's no groups of enemy. They're all single target. Thanks to my defense, uh, I don't have to worry too much about getting focused down too much. Hmm. Let's attack Caterpillar first. Staff of Healing Hargon, Hargon Parry. Good. You heal Terry and you parry. Okay, we got our magic potion. Let's go ahead and cook up the two medical herbs next. <sighs> really? All right, I'll start on the caterpillar. Talion's gonna have to take out the Magidraki. I'm gonna have you preemptively heal Hargon. Maybe that'll work if he gets focused and you don't take your turn yet. You ice bolt. Yeah, there we go, perfect. You take the soldier, you heal yourself. You know, no, parry Hargon, I don't trust them. Ha, good. Caterpillar attacked Hargon too. Uh, blaze. I like how I called that. They definitely are the AI feels more like they're more targeting, but maybe it's just bad luck, too. I don't think uh, that much effort went into the AI. I think it's just, like, taking from the original Dragon Warriors and based on your order. Except the order is a little screwy, too, so, uh eh. Dragon Scale. Another one. We don't need it at this point, though. Okay, we got another healing water. I'll give that to Hargon in case he needs to emergency heal. All right, we're out of the annoying cave and into a new place. I'll take the brownies. He's going to kill. He should be able to kill the healer, maybe. I'll have her help, though. Perfect. All right, yeah, she, he. Talion needed Saro's help there. Alright, killer bees. I'll me and Hargon will attack the group. You go for the brownie. No, try punching the brownie. Let's see how that works. Saro help with that, and you fireball. Oh, killer bees attack really hard. 21 damage to Hargon. Holy shit. And they're still not down. Oh, God. Staff of Healing Hargon. Hargon, you got to parry. Staff of Healing yourself because you're more fragile. And you keep parrying, Hargon. Jeez. Twenty fucking damage when we he only has uh, 60 HP. That's not good. Let's get try to find the new next town. 
East, across the bridge, and a little northeast is the castle of Port Haven. Can we get to Port Haven before we die? <laughs> Uh, we don't need healing right now, and you could fireball. Trying to stop spell, huh? That's less threatening than anything, really. Uh, yeah, focus the brownie. Nice hit. Punch basically one-shot him. Alright, that's a dead end. Alright, we have healers. We're going to try to kill that killer bee ASAP here. And Hargon, just parry. Good. Alright, at this point, we're okay. It's gonna be annoying, but it, we're okay. Yeah. They don't even attack, they just keep healing and healing and healing. Like, that's their, like, main thing to do. take some damage. Ugh. Alright. Killer bees, gotta go. You step up healing yourself. And hard on just parry. Luckily, they don't hit me too hard. Definitely heal me, though, at this point. You know what? I'm gonna cheap this out. Excuse me, cheap this out and do stuff of healing while these guys psych up. Psych, psych, and stuff of healing, Argon, and psych. Psych, Psych, Item, Step of Healing, Sorrow, and you know what? Attack. Let's see how your attack is. Oh, they don't have enough MP! Alright, let's have you punch, and you know what? You go ahead and just parry and psych up. 60 damage, okay. Oh god. This is more dangerous. I need to get back up, I think. I want to find a town first, though. Alright. I'm going to say you attack... Let's all attack the Crested Vipers first, I think. Even you. You use... Yeah, Infernos, and you're going to fireball them. We just want them gone. Okay. Silent Sheep looks like he uses stop spell. That might distract him from actually attacking. That's good enough for me. You staff of healing yourself. You ice bolt the guy. Sorrow got silenced. Well, she's got her staff of healing. It's okay. You can't use your spells right now. Heal, Talion, and... Blaze, the big guy. Yeah, I thought so. Silent Sheep definitely uh, gets overly fixated. South to Timberlin. We don't want to go to Timberlin right now because the enemies seem a little tougher. Uh, okay, this is a benign party here. We'll just focus down the healers for now, because the cat, the the cat vampire thing is going to just waste time anyway.
Everyone just attack. You know, I think it's time to take out that map. Oops. I missed it. That's not very helpful. I thought it would show me where more things are. Uh, oh, never mind. <sighs> Made it to town without anyone dying, even though that got kind of close. Eh, <laughs> different music. Yeah, let's get the other music back. That had this is Dragon Warrior 2 town music. It's one of my preferred town themes. Not the main one I like, but it's definitely up there. A flame sword? Oh, that sounds lovely. Alright, that's our current best weapon. Chainsicle, 24. Venomous dagger is 24. Iron spear is 28. And the flame sword is 25. So the spear is only 4 more damage than a chainsicle, really. Eh. Yeah, not really worth it. Armor, on the other hand, is kind of helpful. 10 defense compared to Sorrow, who can probably equip this. 7. Eh. I also have a scale shield. Well, let me see if... I doubt it. Talion could equip it? No. He already has a training suit on, and we, don't need, we already have chain mail. I don't think there's going to be much we could be buying that's going to be helpful. In any case, we're all healed up. We made it to town. I think I'm going to end it here because I got 10 more minutes anyway and before I have to get ready. And I'd rather just take that 10 minutes to get ready early and relax. Like I said, this was just a quick stream. Just wanted to kind of throw it in there when I had time. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching Missing Time. Thanks for tuning in for a bit. Sarah, thank you too for keeping me company. I appreciate it. Miss you. Uh, anyone else that's lurking out there? And anyone else watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.